When you only have 5K to spend on a car, your options are pretty limited. You can either get a barely working high mileage Corolla or maybe a Honda Pilot. Boring. I don't know about you, but I want a car with power for cheap. Yes, sir. I'm talking about cars with 300 horsepower for less than 5K. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because today I'm your guide to the world of fast cars on the cheap. My name is Brad Danger and today we're gonna look at some killer deals. Let's go. Real quick, let's talk about today's video sponsor and one of my absolute favorite tools on the web to save money. Got your attention? Yeah, I know I got mine because finding coupon codes is tough. But with Honey, it doesn't have to be. See, Honey's the free online shopping tool that helps you find promo codes and applies them to your cart. Check this out. Just the other day, I was on the AutoZone website to buy some performance brakes for the Hoopty, and they were gonna be $512.99. But then my little friend Honey saves the day, applies the coupons, and watch it work like magic. In seconds, I saved $76.95 without even breaking a sweat. And let me tell you, it felt great. Now, the reason you should use Honey is because it saved over over $2 billion for its users. Plus it also works on over 30,000 stores, including my favorite, Amazon, Advanced Auto Parts, and YouTube girlfriend's favorite, Nordstrom. So what did we learn? By not having Honey, you are passing up on free money. It's free and it installs in two clicks. But um, but um. Get Honey for free by going to joinhoney.com slash idealmedia or just clicking the link down in the description. And again, thanks Honey for sponsoring today's video. Let's get on with the show, baby. First up on this list is the often overlooked and undervalued coupe from Korea. The Hyundai that rhymes with Sunday, Genesis Coupe. This Korean speed machine surprised everyone when it came out. Like seriously, who would buy a Hyundai? No racing pedigree, no sports cars, nothing. Not a zilch, nothing. Yet, somehow, someway, the Genesis became an instant success. And for good reason, too. With rear-wheel drive, an optional manual transmission, and a super speedy 3.8-liter Lambda V6, making a whopping 306 horsepower and 266 foot-pounds of torque, it really is a great option. And when you decide to take the plunge and you straight pipe it to make that aggressive exhaust sound oh so good, God! Damn, that sounds good. And it doesn't even stop there. Another thing that you can totally count on is that steering feel, which this car absolutely aces. See, the problem with modern cars is that the steering feels light and kind of numb. Not with the Genesis, not at all. Trust me, you're gonna be whipping this thing around like you stole it, especially if you get the manual. And if you wanna save the manuals, with this limited edition tee, one of my favorites, go snag one up here. As for the Genesis, not only is it sporty, has incredible handling and stupid power, the best part about it is that you can pick it up for a steal of a deal. Yeah, check out this Silver Jenny with a manual tranny for right at our budget. And now, Hyundai's cementing itself into the game with cars like the Veloster N and the G70. Both are pretty good looking cars. So there's never been a better time to buy a Hyundai. But wait, you? You, you want a couple more cylinders? Well, I got you. I'm sure this next car on this list will scratch that V8 itch. Introducing the legendary American machine, the Ford Mustang GT. Making all your first car dreams come true, this checks all the boxes for a slick sports car. You got rear wheel drive, the looks of a stallion, and a juggernaut of an engine. The notoriously perfect 4.6 liter naturally aspirated V8 makes 300 horsepower and 330 foot pounds of torque. And with that good old American V8 sound, I need my cowboy hat for that. Yes, this thing has been known to be a crowd killer, literally. Ouch, that's gonna leave a mark. But where this beast won't leave a mark, is your bank account. Here's one I found with a manual for just 5K. If you want cheap speed, Mustang is always the answer. Sorry, Miata. I mean, compared to Miata, the GT is like a supercar, going zero to 60 in five seconds. But I know some of you guys, well, that pony's a little too wild. And you want something a little bit more sophisticated, luxurious. If you want something with a little more class, the E60 BMW 550i is it. Even though this Bavarian missile harbors a beast 4.7 liter V8, thumping out a body throwing 362 horsepower and 361 foot pounds of torque, yeah, 
That's a lot of ponies. And she also has the luxury to back it up. I'm talking leather seats, heads up display, and a smooth ride that reminds you you're riding in luxury. And that's not bad considering this thing will haul you from zero to 60 in under five seconds. It's all that opulence and sportiness that makes this car a true masterpiece. Plus, it's got that BMW name. Woo. Break my wallet, baby. Now, remember that the V8s in the E60 generation have had some issues, but overall, 550 owners, believe it or not, swear by their car's reliability. And you should be just fine if you find one with a clean service history. Now, remember the reason this is on the list is because it's cheap and fast, and it's like dirt cheap. Here's an E60 550i with under 160K for under 5K. I'd say that that thing is just pretty much broken in. And believe me, that's a wicked deal considering that the MSRP on these things new were 60 grand plus. But if you want the cheap American version of the 5 Series and something that might be the ultimate sleeper on this list, the answer to your question is the Pontiac Grand Prix GXP. This American sleeper is seriously a steal of a deal. Like, look at it. I mean, you'd think that your grandma was driving one of these hoopties. No offense, but that thing looks like it has no performance at all. But think again, my friend. If you pop the hood, a 5.3 liter LS4 V8 is staring right back at you. And that thing's putting out a patriotic 303 horsepower and 323 foot pounds of torque. Yee! Yeehaw! Let's just say that's enough to beat most any car at a stoplight, maybe even my Porsche 911. And the best part about it, coming back to the looks, is that it doesn't look like it should have a V8 in it. Maybe a four cylinder, an inline six, but not a V8. And on the inside, the interior isn't really that bad. Flappy paddles to shift the automatic transmission, a heads up display, and even leather seats for you to sit on. Having driven a buddies of mine a couple of times, this thing was unexpectedly sporty. Yet one thing that you just can't get around is that it came in just front wheel drive. Yeah, no rear wheel drive. But that still means burnouts for days. Just don't expect to do any donuts in this thing. Okay, I, I stand corrected. All jokes aside, if you wanna get one of these things, we found this 06 GXP for just 5K. Definitely a sweet deal. And given the fact that this is a GM product, parts are cheap and widely available. So you won't have to worry about any headaches when it comes to reliability, because if something breaks, it'll be cheap to fix. But if you want some of those reliability headaches, well, let me serve you up the Volvo S60R. This one is also a sleeper, but the S60R is so, 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 so much cooler than your grandma's GXP. And let me tell you, this suite has some sweet specs. The S60R comes packing with serious heat, specifically a 2.5 liter turbocharged inline five, making 296 horsepower and 295 foot pounds of torque. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad, isn't this a list of cheap cars that have 300 horsepower? Well, yeah, it is. And you know how they say ideal bumper stickers give you five extra horses? Well, I think the extra swagger that this car has definitely gives it at least four more. So it's an honorary 300. And because it has all wheel drive with the Haldex system, the power's put down to the ground so efficiently, zero to 60 comes in under five seconds. All of this sounds really great, but just remember, this thing is very unreliable. I would relate it to dating a Swedish model. It's a lot of fun to look at, but once you take it on a date, it becomes extremely expensive. So this is the type of car that you dream about, but you don't actually put your money where your dreams are. But if you don't wanna take my advice and you wanna take a leap of faith, here's an 06 model for under 5K. And if you buy it, well, good luck, because I would recommend this much more reliable option. It comes from our boys across the pond in Japan. Yeah. We're talking about the Infiniti G37. Being from Nissan's luxury division, you know it's gonna be good. They came as a good looking coupe and as a sedan if you wanted a little bit more of a sleeper. And either way, they came fully loaded with comfort. You got leather seats, leather steering wheel, dual zone climate control. This thing is overall just a really solid platform. Plus, we can't forget about the holy grail, the V6 power plant. Yeah, the VQ37 is super reliable, smooth, and powerful, making over 300 horsepower with ease. 
and that rear wheel drive with that killer weight distribution, handling is nothing really short of amazing. So if you're ready to pick one up, you got plenty of options. My personal favorite is the sedan, and here's a black G37 for 4,500 bucks. That is seriously pennies on the dollar and definitely a performance bargain. Plus, it carries over a lot of parts from this car, the Nissan 370Z. Yeah, this one. A lot of the mods that fit on the 370 will also go on the G37. Pop the hood and you're met with a familiar face. It has a super similar VQ37 engine, and if you want to straight pipe it, go ahead. And you got one of the loudest trumpets you will ever hear. <laughs> Sounds pretty good in my own opinion. And if you're interested in getting a 370, which I think looks way sportier than the Infinity, in my own opinion, I found this black one in the top trim for right at 5K. Whichever one you choose, just know that you're getting a super reliable JDM superstar that is slowly becoming a modern classic. And let's go back to the US for our next car, because we can't forget about the Chevy Camaro, specifically the Z28. It's also known as the Catfish Camaro. I mean, just look Look at that front end. It looks crazy, like you'd find it in a pond or a lake or maybe even a river. But no, you'd find it in Dearborn, Michigan. Well, at least when they were brand new. And the only thing you won't get catfished by this Camaro is the smiles per gallon that engine produces. That 5.7 liter LS1 V8 made it to a six speed manual puts down the factory rated 305 horsepower. That's respectable power for any car, let alone one that looks like a catfish. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll stop. But one thing to note, these Camaros, well, they're kind of cheaply put together. So they're gonna be a little bit more rough around the edges than the other cars that I mentioned on this list. They also tend to trade hands quite a few times. So those 10 owners before you probably all loved beating the heck out of this thing. But lucky for you as the 11th owner, it's ready to give you your donut fix time and time again. And the best part is that if something goes wrong while you own it, everything's cheap. The LS1 engine, cheap to replace. Dent the front fender, 50 bucks on eBay. Helps you meet your next ex-girlfriend? I, I can't put a price on that. Regardless, this Silver Z28 for 5K will definitely do the trick. An awesome car with crazy looks and a crazy engine? Sign me up. But chances are you have an itch, an itch for more speed. Then my friends, you want the most powerful car on this list. The British banger, the Jaguar XJR. Now this is one extremely fast cat. I'd even call it a cheetah, but I'm This Jag really does have some serious power though, coming from a four liter supercharged V8, throwing down a massive 370 horsepower and 387 foot pounds of torque. Damn! And that's enough power to push this thing to 60 in under five seconds. But I can guarantee you one thing, the power isn't the only thing you're gonna be proud of. Cause hop inside, you got lush leather to sit your butt in, and you got the smoothest suspension that pretty much jumps over potholes, and you got that Jaguar name, driven solely by British villains and other high income individuals. Now, one thing that I wouldn't joke about is its reliability. You're not buying an old British anything and thinking it's gonna be reliable, especially with the electronics. It's gonna be a nightmare, but I have one cure. Here at Ideal, you buy something like this and you just kind of drive around the problems. Your electric window stops working, don't sweat it. Check engine light comes on, Eh, I probably just keep driving. Your hood latch stops working. Okay, now you have a problem. Just drive the thing into the ground and you'll have a huge smile on your face as you do it because this list is about cheap cars that have over 300 horsepower and nothing that's British and cheap is gonna be reliable. So if you're ready to drive around all the problems, here's a supercharged cat for only 4,500 bucks with under 100,000 miles. Now that is a supercharged deal. Okay, I'll go home now. But before I go home, which car on this list would you buy? The Magnificent Mustang, the Incredible Infinity, or the Jumpy Jag? For me personally, I've always wanted a Hoopty and I just, that XJR Jag, it's so cool. I'm so ready to drive around the problems. So let us know which one you like the most and also let us know what we missed. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you're new here and the like button to let us know if you like this video and definitely check out some of our other ideal content. My name is Brad Danger and thank you all for watching. And as always, keep living the ideal lifestyle.